Hello, today's 3rd of October 2022 and I'm um, just following on from my last encouragement video um, I just uh, feel led to share more about what the Lord has been showing and speaking to me about um, just to encourage everyone in the body because He loves us all and He wants us to have hope and He wants us to have laughter and joy um, as we go through our wilderness journey and um, crossing over and, and our, all our battles and trials that he's always there with us so um, you're just going on from my last um, encouraging video um, just want to share a few things that's been given to me and the first one was about hope um, so about a week ago I was losing hope um, I've been waiting for a promise to be fulfilled and I was just losing hope that day and kind of fell into despair and despondency and I asked the Lord to encourage me and he did um, he gave me a sign which I'll just show you later but I'll read out the scripture for hope first it's Romans fifteen thirteen. now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost and I feel led to look up another scripture and that's that's Psalms 89 verse 34 my covenant will I not break nor alter the thing that has gone out of my lips so if God said it he will do it and we have to have full trust and faith in him that he he does not go against his word and yeah his words will not return void amen so the number plate sign that he gave me was HPE 100, Hope 100, and I have um, received 100 before, and it means thickness, abundance, lavishness, lavish generosity, and bounty, and thick well grown. The other word is also um, bulrush, which is a quite a thick um, reed or stalk and generous gift and um, the scripture for that uh, includes generous gift which also reminds me of the number 411 which is gift I think it's gift so Lord is just reminding us that um, yeah we should uh, keep hold and remember and hold on to hope and um, his promises and the generous gifts that he will be um, bestowing upon us he is and will be so just to hold on to our gifts and the other uh, the other thing he showed me which was part of a, a whole whole message about um, rebuilding Israel and Jerusalem is about restoration and um, I'll be doing a a separate video about about this so this is only one snippet of it uh, I happen to see this video on my feed it says God will restore what the enemy stole which he is doing right now in um, in many people's lives and I don't listen to Stephen Furtick but uh, yeah this caught my eye and um, so what I did um, I looked up uh, Stephen Furtick and Stephen means uh, wealth, no, wreath and crown, reward, honor, renown and fame. Uh, I believe renown and fame is in Isaiah 60 or Isaiah 61. When um, God's light will be um, shine upon us. And then Furtick, I looked up the name Furtick and I couldn't believe it, but it means it is finished. It is finished and personally this uh, for me it is uh, in respect of the the my battle of eye that I'm about to complete that he's been speaking to me about and I got confirmations for this um, a few days later sister uh, happened to see a motivational uh, video on Instagram and the man was saying it is finished and then I saw two number plates, I think it was three times. The number plate said, it's done. 
ITS and then DUN. It is finished. And then if you see here, uh, at the bottom right, the, it was 21, 20, 21 minutes 26 seconds long. And these are numbers that I know. The 21 means exuberant, great joy, uh, full of joy to exult and rejoice greatly. 26 is Abigail, which means my father is joy. Um, and yes, that was in my last video as well. So that means double joy. Double, double, double. Everything is double in this current season. So, and, and another, um, for the Stephen, the n meaning of the name Stephen, that re uh, means reward and honour. And another encouragement video for the beleaguered soldier, um, the name meaning for, I oh know, the character, she received a, a medal of honour. So that's going to be a reward that the remnant will receive for, um, just for soldiering on through our um, great battles and trials, um, for staying strong and uh, with grit and tenacity, you know, in the face of all our trials and all the hardships that we have had to go through, whether physical, um, like with our with our health, with our health trials, uh, with our heart trials, with um, finance trials, um, everything that we've had to do to be refined, purified and tried in the fire to burn off everything that is not of the Father and to create gold vessels emptied and emptied out of everything that is not of Him, ready to be made into new wineskins for the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Um, also another uh, confirmation for it is finished. I saw a num another number plate that had J and then it had five sevens in it. So five uh, symbolizes grace and the sevens of course is um, uh, divine completion and divine perfection and finished and also rest. Um, and 21 it also it comes from 242, which is jump and leap. Uh, and this takes you to, or brought to mind, the scripture for, um, I think, in Malachi, when the calves will leap in their stalls for joy. Um, and then it says in the description for the Strongs for 242, getting so glad one jumps in celebration to exult or boast because so experientially so experientially joyful so the Lord just keeps continuing to speak about great joy and exuberance for us um, I know one brother he's experienced a taste of the transformation and he just and from his experience, he woke up giggling from it still. He was so happy. So, um, and it, he said, it, just in our human shell here, it'll be hard to contain that the joy will be so great. We just can't imagine what it'll be like. And then the third, the third and last experience or gift that the Father gave me was through a brother in Christ. Oh, this was another confirmation for 2126. I actually took this, um, took the photo one second too late and it changed to 27. But um, 27 is also a good number because it means beloved and Benjamite. And remember, Benjamite can be the tribe and it can be the 144,000. So there's great joy coming for the beloved Benjamin and um, 144,000. So um, just recently um, I made a new friend, a lovely brother in Christ, um, and he was led to, oh actually when he was talking, he, when a mutual friend mentioned my name, he suddenly um, he was suddenly overcome by uncontroll, uncontrollable laughter that he couldn't stop, <laughs> and he was just 
just laughing his head off and it had never hap- happened to him before. Um, and then when we chatted, he felt led to pray for me and and then he, f- he received a personal word for me, um, which included uh, uh, those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. And he said, I will have bundles of joy because of Psalm 126. Those who sow in tears will reap in joy and they will have sheaves of sheaves of something but I'll read the scripture out and um, yes so as I was just noting down the word and I went to um, reread Psalm 126 and it was just crazy because the prophetic laughter was confirmed in Psalm 126 and it's titled a joyful return to Zion when the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion we were like those who dream then our mouth was filled with laughter so that verse 2 is the confirmation for his prophetic laughter isn't that amazing and our tongue with singing then they said among the nations the Lord has done great things for them The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad. Bring back our captivity, O Lord, as it streams in the south. Those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. He who continually goes forth weeping, bearing seed for sowing, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. The sheaves is also bundles, so bundles of joy and rejoicing. So um, I hope that really encourages everyone, um, especially the remnant army. We're going to go forth soon. We're going to receive so many blessings and rewards and fulfilled promises, healing and deliverance and answered prayers as the latter rain falls. So be encouraged, guys. God bless you. Thanks for listening.